In this lesson, on the technical names of scale degrees, we will come to understand how the language of music is not unlike any other language in that given names, however peculiar they may first seem, are often simply describing the unique character or function of that thing. In previous lessons, we found that thinking of scale notes as numbered degrees can be quite useful. The same will also prove to be true for knowing the technical terms given to those degrees. These names will be particularly useful in future lessons on chords and their functions. For this demonstration, we will use the notes of the C major scale, but the names are applicable to the degrees of all major and minor scales. These are old terms derived from Latin origins and used daily by musicians around the world. The first degree of the C major scale, C, is not only the key note, but also the tonal center for everything played in the key of C, and is appropriately named the tonic note. Counting up. On the fifth degree, the most important note next to the tonic, we have the aptly named dominant note. On the third degree, midway between the tonic and the dominant, and identified by its location, we have the mediant note. The next two notes are similarly identified, but by counting down from the tonic. Counting down five on the fourth degree, we have the subdominant note. And, not surprisingly, halfway between the tonic and the subdominant, on the sixth degree, we have the submediant note. Sitting on the second degree above the tonic is the accurately named supertonic. On the seventh degree, the note that urgently wants to continue on to the tonic, we have the leading tone or leading note. The only exception to these degree names is found in the relative minor scale. Because of the natural minor's different intervallic structure, the seventh degree has a wider whole tone interval. This creates a less demanding need to resolve to the tonic and therefore warrants a different name. The obvious choice that perfectly identifies this note is subtonic. So whether we are dealing with the minor or major, you now have a better grasp of the technical names of scale degrees.